Hi everyone, Matteo here from Machina Infinitum. Today we are going to create this scene with Octane and Cinema 4D and also with Vectron Pack number 3, which you can get on our website here. And um, I created this scene without knowing I was going to create that. So um, let's say I explored the fractal with you guys and my imagination did the rest. So I encourage you to do the same. Do not set any boundaries. If you see something, try to make um, that thing visible to everyone. Um, so I saw like a space station here or um, a floating uh, building um, in the clouds and I just added the clouds and some cool materials and now I think it's visible to everyone what, what was in my mind. And I'm not really good at doing tutorials, so this is more like a screen record while I try to explain my, my process. So today I want to create a simple scene with the Mixpinsky formula and I'll talk a little about the shading and how to create a procedure, procedural material for the fractal and I'll talk a little about the history of this uh, cool fractal. So Mixpinsky came actually from Mandelbaut 3D. He, this formula is basically the same. Uh, it's really a uh, hard surface looking and you can kind of create cities or buildings or it can also be really organic with the uh, rotation. When you give it some rotation, it can really produce organic shapes. Uh, but anyway, um, this is the basic, the default parameters of Mixpinsky in Mandaba 3D. Um, we can see that also here in in Vectron in Octane. So just set the same parameter here uh, we have to disable the warp and another thing there's a rotation going on so set that to zero and you will see that we have the same Mixpinsky parameter um, to me this is a little boring so I switch to normal kernel so I can explore that in real time uh, this could be cool, but I prefer different kind of shapes. It's always up to you. Here there's a nice spiral. Uh, you can change the ray epsilon to get more details, of course, but we are going to keep that kind of um, low res until we go for the final render. Um, so the secret uh, for me about creating a cool fractal artwork is the shading. So it's of course the, the fractal itself must be uh, interesting, but a really uh, important thing is the shading. So we are going to create that first. Uh, let's use a cube as sample, which is really fast to render. And I've already created a material uh, with a concrete texture here. It's a really simple material from a Clint um, pack. And you see there's uh, four different textures, specular roughness and normal. That's easy to set up and that's fine. But I want to create another material, actually a mixed material and assign that to the cube. And let's create another material. This one will be responsible for the top part. So um, I want to create like a grass, grass and stone material. It's a mixed material. Uh, so material number one will be uh, the grass and material number two will be the concrete. 
now of course you can balance that with the slider but instead of amount we need uh, to go in the node editor and set the amount to a, a fall off let's reorganize a little bit the thing here okay so in the amount we need to use a gradient and after that a, a fall off set the fall off to uh, 90 degree normals versus vector and as you can see now we have uh, material the concrete material on top and the other material on the side um, I don't want that so let's just invert that like this and now we can start working on this octane material let's call this grass and stones okay um, noise and another gradient I'm doing the grass now so for the grass we want uh, different shades of um, of green so let's search for a cool green not too much saturation okay and a different kind of green more bright okay some yellow a little darker color okay that's cool uh, maybe some brown and let's add some gray for the stones okay this is too simple of course so let's play with a different noise uh, type you can press here and see uh, a preview the little arrow here uh, let's just play with that until we are kind of happy Uh, let's see uh, Naki usually it works really well uh, play with sliders yeah we are almost there but it's still too boring so Maybe we can add some octave here, set to eight. We have more detail and yeah. I need to introduce more variation. So this green here, of course, it's not really, really good. okay that's better um, so now in the mixed material we have uh, some sort of grass on top and a concrete on the side uh, the cool thing now is that if we um, if we set this material to the fractal it will follow the rule so already we have a really cool organic um, kind of organic looking fractal and the, now we can just start to tweak the parameters of the fractal so uh, I like uh, to reset the parameters 
to do that you have to hit compile reset and compile and compile again every time so this is the default parameter let's have a look looks like uh, it's working really well and it's very a simple mix material nothing complicated because the, the detail is uh, all done by the fractal so you just need some basic shading and it will do the rest you can of course already search for a cool spot but I recommend you to play with different parameter here um, and imagination will do the rest so we have the scale and the offset all kind of standard parameters like in Mandelbaut 3D and you can play with that and search for something cool I guarantee I'm doing fractals uh, I don't know five years now and trust me you you don't need to understand what's going on here just look for something that looks cool that's it and that's the way I create uh, fractals basically just search for something cool um, I prefer to stick with this parameter and let's change the rotation we start to have some really cool building structure here um, we can change the time parameter which um, doesn't change too much the, the the main structure but it has some impact on the on the details this is kind of cool of course we can zoom in this could be also a cool scene so let's try to render that really quick and add some light, uh, daylight and we notice that um, we see uh, too much of the noise here we start to see the pattern so a good idea is to change the scale of the noise to do that just click on the noise and let's try to decrease the size now it's maybe too much so let's try 40 okay that's cool and I'm in daylight kernel uh, but let's try path tracing which is slower but it, you have more more details usually so this is already cool I think let's try to tweak just a little bit um, the fractal to, to break the symmetry and to do that I usually play with the rotations so just a little bit you have many different rotation here So just be gentle and play with that. You see how you can break everything. Just with a small number. That's cool. this could be like a base for a space station where the ships are going inside it it's up to your imagination really uh, let's explore another part
here on the top. We can try to extend the fractal. So we are just looking at a small portion of it. And here in the vector and object parameters, you can set that you can increase the, the bounds like this, 3000 and and see what's around you see that there's some strange uh, area here that is not really behaving uh, right you see that this is black and no matter the samples uh, it will always look that black to fix that you can increase the bailout parameter as you can see and now it's fixed also here that's changed really everything it's interesting it's organic but it's uh I mean organic we are breaking the symmetry but it still looks like a building or something this could be a really cool scene yeah really cool um, so I think we can add some clouds and it will be almost ready. See you in next part.